Yo, 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 what's the damn deal, man? What's happening, y'all, man? This is your boy Clarence G, and this is Heavy Entertainment News, man. What's happening with everybody, man? On this Sunday, man, beautiful day. Look here, I got my Mavericks on. I got my Mavericks on. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, I told y'all we was expanding the brand, man. So this here is a segment we call Heavy entertainment news man i'm just gonna be bringing you shit that's that's already out there you know what i'm saying and um yeah just giving y'all the news man y'all might not be aware of it y'all might be aware of it and i'm just gonna give my little two cents on it you know what i'm saying but uh <clears throat> we got some shit in the news man you know what i'm saying um uh, one is one that kind of caught my attention it don't surprise me but it caught my attention, so I figured I'd bring it to y'all's attention, man. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff getting exposed in the entertainment industry, man. We just gonna put it that way, man. Uh, so how everybody doing on this Sunday, man? You know what I'm talking about, man. Last night was off the chain. We did the um, in the streets. Mm. Mm, excuse me. We did the in the streets music videos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, unfortunately, uh, Facebook cut the stream, but we were still up and running on uh, YouTube, man. So we're going to be doing that again next Saturday. So make sure y'all tune in for that, man. And uh, I do want to say that I appreciate all the subscribers, man. You know what I'm saying? That's subbing to the channel, man. That's, that's following on Facebook and everything, man. That's what's up. So big shout out to y'all, man. Salute. You know what I'm talking about one more time. Mavericks, baby. You know what I'm saying? Say, I might not be back at the crib, but, yeah, the crib right here. You know what I'm talking about? D-Town, baby. Metroplex. You already know what's up, man. Shout out to everybody in the DFW, man. From D-Town to the funk and everything in between, man. You know what I'm saying? Going and playing on Mesquite. You know what I'm talking about, man? Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah, man. So, like I said, this is heavy entertainment news. And I do got some news, man, that I want to share with y'all. Um, this one here, it caught my attention. <clears throat> As I said, it don't surprise me. But, you know, I figured I'd bring it to y'all, man. This one got to deal with Trey Songs And um, Diddy. P. Diddy. Puff Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Now, this... That I'm bringing out. Matter of fact, let me just just pull it on up, man. Uh, let me just pull it on up here, man. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, this here is according to Hip Hop DX, man. If y'all not following them boys, make sure y'all go follow them, man, on their channel. You know what I'm saying? Oh, not Hip Hop DX. My bad. Hip Pop uncensored. I do apologize for that, man. I I I'll go back for. It. But yeah, hip hop uncensored, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Um, they got a live podcast. You know, when I'm not doing my thing, I do try to sit back and watch uh, the podcast. But uh, yeah, man. This is according to hip hop uncensored. All right. Now, what is in the news is. Diddy and Trey Songz, they face a $20 million sexual assault lawsuit, all right? Now, this is a legend, you know what I'm saying? But I just want to run it by y'all, man, and see what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get on with it, though. If you're interested in promoting your brand, business, or product on go, Hip Hop News Uncensored, email advertise.hiphopun.com. That's advertise.hiphopun.com. We got a holiday sale going on right now, but I'm telling you right now, slots are filling fast. Ready, set, go. We're going to go past this. We're going to get right into the juice. All right. It's the best. All right. You know it would only be a matter of time before something like this will come out so man a woman is accusing right i'm a little bit hoarse i was at the eagles game last night beating the uh, washington football team so i'm kind of losing my voice but nevertheless i got to give you guys this story now singer trey songs is accused of assaulting 
a woman at a Miami nightclub back in 2018. Now, they're saying an incident went down um, on New Year's Day. Now, the woman identifies herself in a civil lawsuit as Jahara Jeffries. Now, the suit was filed Monday in the 11th Judicial Circuit Court of Florida. Now, Jeffries alleges in the suit that she met Trey Songs after you know, she attended a New Year's Eve birthday party at Diddy's home on Star Island. Now, it says that Jeffries party for about two hours and then called for a ride sharing Uber with one of those joints um, to take her to uh, her and some friends to 11 nightclub in Miami. Now, Trey Songs, right? She's pretty much saying was leaving Diddy's home at the same time when he overheard a conversation between Jeffries and her friend and invited them to ride with him to the club. Now, according to the law, so I know you guys are waiting, right? Patient. I appreciate you guys, right? It says that Trey Songs appeared inebriated and accuses Diddy. This is where his name comes in that, right? Okay. His real name. Hold up. Let me, Sean, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me stop that, man. Let me stop that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. What do y'all think, man? Man, I am like, all these alerts and messages. Hold up, man. All right, now, what do y'all think about that, man? Make sure you hold on, hold on, y'all. Make sure y'all leave your comments. Man, my shit is going to hell for that. Uh, make sure y'all leave your comments at the bottom, man. Man, what what do y'all think? Man? I mean, all right. Now. He's been accused of this. What what made him just throw Diddy under the bus? You know what I'm saying? What is y'all opinion on that, man? You know what I'm saying? Make sure you leave your comments at the bottom. I want to know why he he threw Diddy in there. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, I just had to say something. So we're going to get back off into it, man. <laughs> yeah. My bad, y'all. Man, I do want to say I appreciate everybody that subs to the channel, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not, make sure you sub to the channel, man. Like I said, we expand. Ex I can't even talk today, y'all. We is expanding the brand. You know what I'm saying? So we're doing a little bit more, you know, over here, man. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get back into it, man. But for real, though, what, what made him throw Diddy under the bus? Was it because it was his party? You know what I'm saying? Or what? You know what I'm talking about? But let's see what hip hop news on Sensor talking about. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Where songs were served alcohol until he was intoxicated. So they're trying to put the liability on Diddy and Trey Songs, right? So let's go a little bit further, right? Now, the suit of letters that Songs invited Jeffries and her friends to join him at a private table at the club. Now, it alleges that Jeffries was dancing on the couch when she's saying that's when Trey Songs pretty much violated her in that type of way, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Now, again, it goes on to say, because I can't explain all of it, right? But go to hiphopun.com for the full story. I'll leave the link in the description box. Now, plaintiff, plaintiff says immediately got off the couch, sat down, and it was in a state of shock, the lawyer says. Now, another woman who went over to see what was wrong with Jeffries, now she's the plaintiff, as we know, right? Told her that Songs had also violated her with his fingers. That's what they're saying, right? So, oh boy, okay. Now, the suit claims that eventually Songs, Jeffries, and her friends left the club and got back into his vehicle. Now, according to the lawsuit, what claims that Songs took off his shirt during a ride and that fearing more of assault, plaintiff began recording defendant songs for her own safety now the suit says that songs tried to grab the phone from jeffries and then when she um uh, when she would not turn it over he instructed the driver to stop the vehicle and uh to in order to forcibly remove plaintiff from the vehicle now they're saying that the driver grabbed plaintiff and violently pulled her out the vehicle why defendant songs pushed her and threw her into the street according to the law so like i said all this is alleged right now, the suit says, yeah. right, that Jeffries was also being forced out of a vehicle and songs threatened and ridiculed her and even threw water in her face. I'm not laughing at the water thing. It just sounds like a movie, right? Man, all right, I had to stop that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Man, what do y'all think? What do y'all think about that, man? Allegedly, 
according to Hip Hop Uncensored, allegedly now, wherever he got his information from, they're saying he found out two women the same night? Mm, I don't know, man. And my thing is, why, I, you know, I not, well, I ain't going to say that. Because I know a lot of times when things happen, a uh, woman feel embarrassed. But, okay, this happened in 2018, right? And here we are in, what, might as well say 2022, you know, 19, 20, 21, okay. three and a half, four years later, you know what I'm saying? They coming forward and... Now that's what all this money. What do y'all think, man? Leave your comments at the bottom. I like to see what my heavy hitters think, man. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I, I just I just had to say something about that. But let's go ahead. Let's get back into it. Let's see what else. Uh hip hop DX. Or, I mean, excuse me. Wow. Man, make sure y'all go follow hip hop DX too, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on my shit today for some reason man anyway let's let's see what hip hop news on sense of this time all right let's go all right now spokesperson for trey songs denied the allegations and declined to comment on the lawsuit and a spokesperson for the 11 club wrote right we have reviewed the complaint with our counsel and it's clear that neither 11 nor its employees were involved in the incident which is alleged was hap had happened approximately four years ago 11 did not condone the actions alleged in any manner now the spokesperson said the company will seek to be dismissed from the lawsuit so if you're wondering how much he's going for jeffrey's actually seeking 20 million dollars in damages and she's going after everybody if she's if i get money from the club i get money from the club if i can get it from trey i get it from trey if i can get it from diddy i get it from diddy now diddy comes into this because they're saying that since did is diddy's party you know he's responsible for you know how much alcohol people drink. I don't know how that works. I know, like in bars, it's like that. Like the bartender can tap you out and say you're done. I don't know how it goes with houses, but anyway. Just... All right, I, I I had to jump in on that. Now, what do y'all think about that? Do y'all think Diddy is responsible for what happened because of the amount of alcohol served at his party? Um. Uh, what do y'all think about that, man? Me personally, uh, I don't think that he's responsible for the amount of alcohol consumed when they're all grown people. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in this party, right? Now, you know, a lot of the entertainment, you know what I'm saying, people, they got their yes men and, you know what I'm saying, and hey, if nobody in that camp was able to convince them to not drink so much, just me personally, man, I don't think I don't think it's Diddy's fault as far as the alcohol consumption. You know what I'm saying? And and why would they do that unless it's deeper than what we think? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Now this just allegedly, you know what I'm saying? But let's get back off into it, man. Let's let's uh, I mean, wow. Twenty million dollars, man. Ooh, I mean, and going after the club, <laughs> going after Trey Songs, who allegedly fondled, or you know, what I'm saying, whatever he did with two women, allegedly, and she going after Puffy P Diddy. You know what I'm talking about, Mister? Take that, take that, take that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Say I don't know. Shit, 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 shit's getting deep. Let's get back into it, though, man. She's coming after Diddy. She's coming after Trey. And um, it's civil. It's civil. And mm -hmm. our first question will ask why it's not criminal. <clears throat> if it indeed happened, why not go right away? But then again, we don't know if she really went right away. But you would think if it happened right away that it would be a criminal charge that will come out of this. Well, she's seeking $20 million in damages and medical expenses, lost wages, and emotional distress. Now, let me give this disclaimer first. I know a lot of things happen to a lot of women, and uh, I don't want anybody who's been a victim of anything to see, you know, like I'm coming at you or attacking you in any kind of way because I'm that's not my intention. But I don't know how I don't know how true a lot of these details are, right? None of us were there. It's all 
here and say, no, I can see some of it happening, obviously. But my thing is, right, people got to understand that if, if stuff like this happens, please immediately go to authorities. Because I think when you drag it out, it's just my opinion, it, it opens up room for doubt. Like, all right, why you ain't do this? It's happening in 2018, it's 2021. And then the other question comes up, like, is this a money grab? Because, okay, boom, I can see the Trey songs that you're going after Trey, but Diddy, you're going after the club. Like, it seems like you're just trying to attach, you know, your tentacles to anything that can pour out money and fill those pockets. Now, yeah. if something that did happen right. to you, Say, you should hope. get justice. You know, you right. do should be you whatever know, they're going to do. I got to come in on this, man. I mean? I, um, I, excuse me. We're going to we'll rewind that back, man. Yeah. I got to agree with him on this, man. I mean, seriously, now. Um, that seems like a bad grab. You know what I'm talking about? And and, and civil. I really I thought it was a uh, I thought it was a criminal case, but it's it's civil. And she is suing the alleged perpetrator, which is Trey Songs. All right. Okay. I agree with him. I can I can see her doing that. But then like he said, she's stretching her tentacles, man. She she boom, she's attaching it to the club. She's attaching it to to Diddy's party. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and then it's like three and a half, four years later, man. It's like okay, now now you gonna come forward? I don't know, man. It could be some behind the scenes shit that we don't know about. You know what I'm talking about? Just like he said, though, none of us was there. We really don't know. But you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Was she promised something? I'm just saying. Let's just let's just think about it and think outside the box, man. Okay. Uh, God forbid that it really did happen. You know what I'm saying? And if it did, then they need to they need to pay uh, as far as justice goes. Now, if it didn't happen. Okay, and she's just a gold digger going after the, the paper. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Then, man, bump that. You know what I'm talking about? Man, but I'm just saying, why is she attaching the lawsuit to so many different entities, man, that she and her friend or her entourage was at? I mean, for real. If it was just allegedly Trey Songs who... You know what I'm saying? Did what he did that was improper. Why is you attaching your lawsuit, your pain and suffering, your mental anguish, your loss of wages to other entities that did not, you know what I'm saying, improperly uh, behave with you? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I just don't get it. What do y'all think, man? Leave your comments at the bottom, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to take up too much more of your time. I figured this was some juice right here. And I wanted to hit, I wanted to see what's up, man, and share with y'all. But anyway, man, let's get back y'all into it. Let's let Hip Hop News Uncensored finish the thing, man. Make sure y'all go follow them, man. Check them out. They got a live-ass podcast, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hip Hop News Uncensored. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. If you had to go to jail, if you got to pay fines, I don't know. I mean, again, but if he's innocent, he has every right to protect himself. Now, I don't see how Diddy ties into this because he is Diddy's party, but I guess a lawyer, you know, a lawyer, you can get a lawyer that they can try to sue the government for whatever, or sue anybody for anything. Don't mean you're going to win. It don't mean that. So I think we got to sit back and relax and wait for more, you know, uh, uh, information to come out with this particular case. And we're going to see how this turns out, man. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, I, my gut feeling is that this doesn't really go through. Maybe they settle out of court for like 20000 or 200000 I just don't see her getting $20 million. Like, I, I just think that's an outrageously high number. I mean, you got people that go to prison and been, that have been wrongfully accused for 50, 40 years, and they get like $5 million, $4 million, and they can never get their life back. So, again... If something happens, go right away, make your record, and try to get something happening. Now, don't wait all this time 
because it opens up doubt. And my thing is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, cover all aspects of this. It could have happened. It might not have happened. It could have been a money grab. It could be all of those things. It might be one of those things. It could be none of those things. But one thing's for sure, and one thing's for certain that the truth will definitely come to the light. Eventually, it's your brother, old God, man. Hip hop news. Un- man, yeah. So <laughs> he he definitely right, man. Let me remove this, man. He definitely right, man. Say, um. Yeah, man, let, y'all leave your comments, man. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it's a money grab? Is she going after them just for the bag? You know what I'm saying? You know, and she's putting other entities uh, in this. You know what I'm saying? So was it a money grab or was it not? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, say y'all leave your comments at the bottom, man. Let me know what's up, man. Hey, if you ain't sub, man, man, sub to the channel. You know what I'm saying? So you can get more of heavy in the streets. You know what I'm talking about, man? This is heavy entertainment news. This is your boy Clarence G, man. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I do want to say. I just forgot what the hell I was going to say, man. <laughs> I'm getting all kind of alerts. It's going down, man. Yeah, man. This is heavy entertainment news, man. That, um, yeah, that, that's that's something else to see, man. I'm, I'm going to have to make sure I keep my eye on that and see how that goes, man. That's kind of, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know, you know. It could have happened, though. You know what I'm saying? But we don't know that. But I, I, mm. 20 million and you're going after two other parties who was not allegedly accused of doing some improper shit with you and your friend. You know what I'm saying? That right there don't make no sense to me. And you know, he right though, man. Nowadays you can sue for anything, man. I mean, uh, 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 your dog can take a shit on somebody's front yard and guess what? They can sue. Like he said, though, not necessarily mean they going to win, but <laughs> they can sue you. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, you can fart in an elevator, boy, and fuck up somebody knows with that gas. <laughs> they can sue you in the court of law, man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I mean, for real. I mean, you know, you got you got bag grabbers out there, man. They be going, they be going for the bag, man, on some other shit, though. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, man. Uh, I ain't gonna take up too much more of your time. I do want to talk about um, uh, the violence that that is going on, man. We are losing way too many uh, young men uh, to senseless violence in this entertainment industry, man. So, rest in peace to those that have lost their lives. Uh, prayers and condolences to their families, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, also in the news, man, we got T.I. and 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 uh, Mo Ray, actually. You know what I'm saying? For the thing that they did for Christmas. So, you know what I'm talking about? Let's get off into that, man, and see what's happening, y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. All right. Now, we're going to hold on here. And what is that? Uh, 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 I got a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Now, um, let me go back. I just, man, I'm just losing my train of thought for something. All right, man. Yeah, 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 man. More Ray, man. You know the one that made Quicksand. You know what I'm saying? That's really a good song, man. Now, this is according to Hip Hop DX, okay? Yeah, I got it right, finally. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go follow them, man, and subscribe. You know what I'm talking about to their platform, man. Now, according to Hip Hop DX, More Ray helps spread hometown holiday love through Christmas give back for hundreds of kids. Now, that's 
what's happening. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, he did this in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Now, 2021, Hip Hop DX Rise and Star Mo Ray is all about paying it forward after the amazing year he's had. You know what I'm talking about? That's what's up, man. Now, you know, Hip Hop DX says prior to signing Interscope Records, Mo Ray saw his breakout hit, Quick Sand, reached number 65 on the Billboard Hot 100 and captured the attention of Jay Z and Jay Cole, uh, the latter. Who was so impressed with the rookie of the year nominee anyway man let's skip off the way but that's that's cool on his accomplishment man but on thursday december 23rd the quicksand rapper joined forces with barber and social media influencer big blends for a christmas giveaway that spread nothing but positivity across the community man now that's what's that's what's up man that is some great news you know what i'm talking about uh i love seeing brothers and sisters, man, of any color, giving back to the community, man, because that's what it's about, man. Because if we don't do it, shit, ain't nobody gonna do it. You know what I'm talking about? So, big up, big shout out to Mo Ray for that, man. The barber and the uh, media influence of Big Blends, man. So, anyway, they took over the C Gray Stadium in Fayetteville on the radio station. Foxy 99 reported the hometown heroes dueled out gifts. Uh, they did Instagram photo ops and even gave out free haircuts. Man, you know what? That reminds me, man. Uh, one time in Fort Worth, uh, me, um, wow, man, so many of us, Raw Truth, uh, uh, man, um, uh, Spook G, uh, you know, from 97.9, man. It was a bunch of us, man. We did a thing. We we did a thing, man, right there on Lancaster. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we gave out free haircuts, man. We fed, you know, so many people, man. It 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 was, it was lovely. I mean, it it was beautiful, man. We gave them folks haircuts, free haircuts, man. You know what I'm talking about? So definitely went down. Definitely went down on that, man. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? It it was cool. It was it was cool, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, making people feel good, feel brand new. You know what I'm saying? Make them feel motivated. Anyway, man, let's get back on to the story. But I I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. On on my experiences dealing with giving back, man. It's it's a beautiful thing, man. Y'all should try it sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all should try it sometimes. Hold on, I gotta text. So let me. Um, yeah, oh man, I do apologize. Yeah, so anyway, all right, so uh, all right, here we go, man. Anyway, uh, as I said, he took over the Seagrave State in Fayetteville. Foxy 99 reported. I, I'm actually going back, man. I got so uh, into what I was talking about. Anyway, now, despite surprising natives, it was Fayetteville Mayor Mitch Colvin who shocked both the street sermons operator and big blends with keys to the city for their dedication to the people, man. And the key is always give back. And this is what Moray responded on Instagram with. You know what I'm saying? So, man, big shout out to Moray. As you can see, the picture right here. Let me see if I can pull it up where y'all can see it, where they are given the key to the city you see that ain't that some good shit that's dope shit right there man can't fucking go wrong there you know what i'm talking about yeah man so uh big shout out to uh more man you know what i'm talking about Woo! say it's going down man heavy entertainment news man you know what i'm saying anyway man let's go ahead pop off on that i do well that ac loud as hell look here <laughs> yeah Say, but uh, anyway, man, we're going to get off with one more story, and we're going to talk about T.I., and then we're going to sign up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do some things around the crib and all that, man. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, yeah, man, T.I., he is in the news. Let's go ahead and let's share that with y'all. And this also is according to Hip Hop Deals, man. 
You know what I'm talking about? So y'all excuse that that loud humming noise back there, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's let's uh yeah, just excuse that. All right, now this is also according to Hip Hop DX. I'm just putting to y'all what is already out there, man. Uh, now Ti puts a spin on 12 Days of Christmas with the Holiday Caravan. Okay, uh, he did this in Atlanta, Georgia, I believe. As I said, according to T, I mean Hip Hop DX, Ti already is a prominent figure in Atlanta when it comes to giving back for Thanksgiving. Now the Grand Hustle leader. Is pressing on to be Bankhead Santa. Uh oh, you know what I'm saying. So just before Christmas, Tip and his Harris Community Works put together a holiday caravan with three days of giving away hundreds of toys, jackets, shoes, bags, and more. You know what I'm talking about. Now he also stated that he is proud to be able to give back to people who need it most. And he says he's also honored to be an instrument and a vessel for good. You know what I'm talking about? It's a blessing to be a blessing, T.I. said in a statement, man. And that is true, man. It is always a blessing to be a blessing to help those in need, man. Because you know what? No matter if you're filming it, if if you're doing it privately, that is the best thing, man. Just when you see the smiles come across the people's faces, man. You know what I'm saying? It gives them hope. You know, it gives it gives them motivation, and, and it gives them determination, man, to uh, move forward in life. So, and and not settle for where they at. You know what I'm saying? Especially when they see people that they don't even know, man, out of nowhere, just doing some things. So that's what's up, man. Anyway, let's get on with the story. From December the 10th through December 17th. Tip hosted lunch for the Next Level Boys Academy, uh, a diversion program which aims to keep young men out of prison by offering classes and re-education for first-time offenders or spent time, and he spent time with the children at Children's Health Care of Atlanta, Eagleston, Eagleston Hospital, and helped celebrate the graduation of recent grads from DeKalb County's accountability courts man now in a post shared on instagram on december 14th tip highlighted the fortune of being a blessing to the individuals part of next level boys academy man you know what i'm saying wow look at that ain't that beautiful look at that man i'm gonna have to blow that up so y'all can see that that is beautiful man that is a wonderful Thing, man, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why that popped up. That's kind of weird. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, that just caught me off guard. All right, but yeah, man, that is a beautiful thing, man. You know what I'm saying? So, big shout out to Ti, man, for doing what he's doing and um, doing his part in the community and kind of getting some interference going on in here, man. So, yeah, man, that's what's up, man. Hey. This your boy Clarence G, man. This is heavy entertainment news. Make sure you go to Hip Hop DX, subscribe to the channel, follow them boys, man. Also follow Hip Hop Uncensored and subscribe to their platform, man. Make sure you sub to the channel, smash the thumbs, man. Appreciate it. Every time I see y'all smash that, you know what I'm saying? It inspires me to do what I'm doing, man. Uh, big shout out to my partner, man. My main man, DJ K Jizzle, man, he is on the road traveling, you know what I'm saying, uh, back to the town, man. He was out visiting family, uh, so he's on the road driving. That's why y'all didn't see him here uh, with me, and y'all didn't see him last night when we did the In the Streets music videos. Man. But uh, Anyway, man, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, make sure you tell your mama, tell your daddy, and tell that brother in the alley, man, about heavy in the streets where you know it always goes down you know what i'm talking about man make sure you tune in friday we got heavy friday interviews and then saturday we're doing the new year's eve ball drop that's right live we're gonna be live streaming i'm gonna be playing underground artist music man so make sure you send your music in to heavy in the streets at gmail.com 
You know what I'm talking about? If you're following me on Facebook, you can DM me and send me your material. You know what I'm talking about? Yo, man. So we'll be back again with some more hip hop entertainment news. You know what I'm talking about? Heavy entertainment news, man. We'll be back next Sunday. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be doing this thing, man. So, hey, man, salute to all y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. We definitely appreciate y'all. I hope y'all had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. You know what I'm saying? With your fam. You know what I'm talking about? That's what's happening, man. We got we got one more to come, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going into the new year, man. So, you know what I'm talking about? Let's uh, let's make it to that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, because it, it's dangerous out here. So we got to stay safe. We got to stay dangerous at the same time, man. But you already know what's up. This your boy, man, Clarence G. Heavy entertainment news, man. You know what I'm talking about? Say one more time. Woo, got my Mavericks on, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, man. You already know. Let's go. Peace, love, and hair picks, baby. It's going down.